Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our 2023 California Roots and Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Matt Gentry. Presented as former coach, Mr. Jay Jackson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dwayne, Lynn, Anthony, and everybody who made this a first class event. It really does make us feel uh, really special to be here. I'm very grateful to have the opportunity to, to be a part of this class. Um, I am going to try and keep my speech short so I could nominate or donate some of my minutes to Patricia Miranda, who's speaking after me, a uh, good friend and teammate, and a very important, she and her husband Levi were mentors to me when I first got to Stanford. You know, being here, uh, I wouldn't have been here without the support of so many people. And I was very blessed and lucky to have great people around me from the very beginning. And I think wrestling and the, the community that we have here just embodies that. So thank you to everybody. Thank you uh, especially to my coaches. Uh, my first coach is Larry Lear, and then in high school, Damian McLean and Sergio Gonzalez, who's a 2006 uh, class of induct or, uh, in the Hall of Fame here. Uh, and then my college coach is Jay Jackson, who's presenting my award, Chris Horpel, Steve Buddy, my international coaches, uh, Carrie McCoy, and, and then in Canada, Dave McKay and Justin Abdu. These people were very influential, not only in my wrestling career, but also on me as a man and as a person. So, thank you. I'd also like to, to thank my wife, Emily, who's here, who, who we have our four small children. We came from Illinois. I think one, one of the neat things about uh, the delay in, in this ceremony from, from COVID is that my boys and, and, and girls will maybe remember it and not, they'll see me as somebody other than just dad. <laughs> I'd also like to thank the mothers. Mother's Day is tomorrow and wrestling moms. You deal, you deal with skin infections and watching your baby boys not eat and wake up at all, all hours. So you guys, you guys are a tough, a tough mom and it's essential for a, a, a good wrestler. Uh, I'm also gonna thank my wife one more time because last week, I'm a, I'm a coach at the University of Chicago and last week at our awards banquet, I forgot to thank her so I'd like to do it now. <laughs> She didn't, she didn't want me to say that, so I might have gotten out of the doghouse and back into the doghouse all at the same time. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm up here because of my, award, or my accomplishments on the map, and those are outcome successes. But I really think that the process that I committed to is my true success, and the, the winning on the map is just a reflection of that. And in the, in the awards uh, uh, pamphlet, it talks about the mission of the, of the Hall of Fame is to inspire the youth. And so I think one of the, the things that I'm extremely grateful for is that the, the adversity I faced and the difficulty that wrestling is made me a better person. And everybody who participates in wrestling gets that reward. And so I'd like to dedicate at least some of, or, uh, some of my award to all my teammates and friends who did the right process and may not have gotten the reward that they wanted. They didn't get the wins even though they committed like I committed. And so I think that's a, that's a beautiful part of the sport that I treasure. Uh, and I just wanted to say thank you one more time. <laughs> 